All right, this is Shiru. Welcome back to part three of me figuring out what my coming out story is. So in the last video, I talked about how my first experience with queerness came from anime, um, namely uh, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Uranus from Sailor Moon, and Team Rocket from Pokemon. Now my next topic is naturally fan fiction. So I found myself on fanfiction.net reading up uh, various stories from whatever genre, right? Action, adventure, mystery, romance. And I find that I'm always drawn to the romantic elements of any story, uh, whether it's a mystery genre or it's an action adventure genre. I'm interested in um, relationships. That That's just what my passion is because, um, of course, I've never had, I've never been in any relationship. I think that was the probably why it was a complete mystery to me. Uh, I've never had a crush growing up in elementary. I've never had anyone ask me out. Uh, just mostly kept to myself, really. Um, I believed that I was shy, believed that I was invisible, and so the only company I really had were like cartoon characters, uh, as sad as it seemed, because growing up, I will, oh, my best friend would always leave for whatever circumstances, um, so I'd have to make a new best friend every year. So mostly because of out of my own loneliness, I feel like I was interested in learning about relationship dynamics and I happened to be analyzing it while reading fanfiction. So you know on fanfiction.net you get a lot of different stories, right? You have some good stories and then you have some a lot, a lot of really badly written stories because it's by amateurs. Uh, and of course there's the yaoi section, right? There are people who are going to, there's going to be lots of slash fics, and then there's the yuri section, and there's, yeah. So I explored both. It kind of got me thinking, you know, even within those genres, if you call them genres, there are stories that work and stories where it's just not believable. The, the dynamic just isn't written well, or they just haven't explored the character deep enough. And I've always left feeling really unsatisfied. So I began writing my own stories and this is where my queerness comes out because even though I've never been with anyone, I always gravitate towards writing queer characters. So that probably says something about me. Um, and that's all I'm going to say for this video because it's already going on for too long. So I will see you in part four of me trying to figure out my coming out story. Shiru out.